Mm. Welcome to Tony Reeves' channel. Mm -hmm. What's up, YouTube fam? Check it out. If I got a late night snack for you guys, hmm? These pickle chips, dill pickle, with the Reaper squeezins. Mmm. I've already ate quite a few of these. I got a little bit of a, a little warm going on. But I had to get on here. I was like, man, these things are so good. Put some of these on the table here. I'm just to get down, y'all. I'm just to get down with the Reaper squeezins and the dill pickle chips. Oh my God, these are so delicious. Mm. This is my kind of snack. Mm -mm -mm. That's some warm stuff, y'all. This is the hottest hot sauce I've ever had. Other than not being extract. God, but it's so delicious on these chips. It can be, it can be warm. It can be a little painful, but in a good way, y'all. Gotta be a little crazy, a little addict to the capsaicin for all this, so. Mm. But it is an acquired taste. But once you acquire it, Look out. Mm. Ain't no turning back. Mm. Ah, man. Ah, yeah. Mm. That was some good stuff, man. There's good hot sauce. I mean, taste-wise, oh, it's definitely not as good as that uh, stanky sauce like that. But the heat with the taste, what it provides, it just satisfies something I, I greatly crave. Mm. Look at that sweat building. <laughs> mm. Can't help it, y'all. So I've decided, there we go, I'm going to do the Death Nut, Death Nut 3.0. Hmm. <clears throat> Wednesday. Today being Monday. Today being Monday, I'm going to do it Wednesday, because tomorrow my son has a ring ceremony at his school, and I want to devote the day to that, because I don't want to go to this ring ceremony and have a problem, you know what I mean? Looking for a bathroom? My heat level is about a three or four right now. Mm. I can't help it. It's like this. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. What you got? What you got? Mmm. <laughs> Once you've been there, man, ain't no turning back. <clears throat> mm. 
It all speaks for itself, y'all. I ain't done. I'm just going to cut the video short and finish my movie. <laughs> I'm not done. Y'all know me. <laughs> Woo! About this far down in the bottle now. The night I was up to here, now I'm here. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Ah, good stuff now. All right. Ooh, yeah. Good burn. So, after indulging myself in a few more chips, I decided to ramp it up a little bit more. I decided to start eating it with this stuff. Yeah, mesquite smoked peppered beef jerky. This stuff's not terribly hot. It's spicy. But every time... After eating that, the the chips with the with the hot sauce, the Reaper squeezings, oh, it's like putting a hot iron in my mouth, which I love, y'all. And this stuff is really, really dry. There is no moisture. It's hard to chew, so that makes even more pain to the madness of the mouth. Yeah, just a little bit of heat this has lights up what I have in my mouth already. Mm. My eyes are watering, my nose is running, and I got a little sweat going on. Perfect. <laughs> mm. Whew. All right, y'all. <laughs> we ain't right. But we ain't wrong. Think about that. <laughs> okay. One little piece of chip. Don't miss that. All right, check it out. Um, I had to get back on here and tell you about... Yes, tomorrow is my son's ring ceremony at school. Pretty excited about it, right? All right. Um, reason I'm excited about it is because of the fact that when I was a junior in high school, my family wasn't able to afford my senior ring. And I picked it out, and we couldn't afford it. I sent it in, and we never was able to make up the money for it, so I didn't get it. And I always regretted that. And it could have been to my fault also. Um, instead of spending money on my racing go-kart, I could have put it towards my senior ring. But at that time, I was <laughs> transfixed. I was so involved in the racing scene. I put every dollar. I had no sponsors whatsoever. Every dollar I had went into racing that go-kart. And my senior ring came last, and I... I, I'm, I regret that. But that uh, brings me to my next, my, my next story. This, this is my dad's senior ring. When he passed away in 2016, it was left to me. There's a lot of history behind this senior ring, y'all. I love wearing it. I love my dad. I respect him. And I always will. He was a hard-working man. Everyone ever... He worked in the oil field. Worked his way up all the way from the very bottom. Worked his way up to tool pusher. And then company man. Before he was 30 years old. It's a hard working man, y'all. Everybody that ever knew him, everybody I've ever talked to said he was the hardest working man they've ever worked with. He was a large man, he was a strong man. Big hands, big strong hands. And um, you know, sometimes he'd come home, he wasn't in a very happy mood. I'm just gonna leave it at that. But that's as far as I'm gonna go on YouTube about that. Any of y'all that ever grew up in the seventies and eighties know growing up then was way different than it is now. But, let me tell you something. He had an accident in 84, and it left him paraplegic. 
and he had spent the remainder of his life, and I would never, I would not wish that on my worst enemy. I love that man, and I miss him. But this was his senior ring. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When we got out of line, when we was out and about, wherever we was in church, at the restaurant or something like that, I have to wear this on my left hand because it doesn't fit my right hand. I got I got big hands like my dad, but I guess my hands are a little bit bigger because <laughs> it doesn't, it, it I can't squeeze this finger with it on there. But um, yeah, I got really big hands for my size. I can go into a story about that too because uh, I've known some really big people would not hands this size but um yes this is size 14 y'all well it was actually stretched to a 14 it wasn't that when he was in high school but uh he would take that when we would act up in the, in the restaurant or anything like that he'd take it he'd flip it around like that right there and he pop right on top of the head Man, I'll never forget that. It hurt. But we acted right. Yeah, they don't do that stuff today. Kids don't sometimes act right. But, hey, who am I to complain, right? I can't say nothing. I got Ethan, Megan, and Alicia have never, ever seen a belt, a paddle, or anything like that. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and say um, I'm going to wear this tomorrow. For some reason, the video cut off. I don't know why it did, but um, it didn't finish the video. But I'm going to wear this tomorrow to Braden's, um, his ring ceremony. And, um, you know, out of respect for my dad and for him. And hopefully we'll get a really nice picture. Um, you know, of course, he's got to wear it a certain way until he get, graduates when he gets to turn the ring. But, um yeah, man, that's, that's, that's something special, y'all. All right, y'all. Mm -hmm.